rotate the angle of view. And Hello everybody and welcome back to, to Dyson Sphere program. We're looking at our planet right now in all its glory and we can actually see our factory here. We can actually see the factory over here. That is pretty amazing. So from out space, we can see that. Um, right now it's nighttime in our factory. So I hope in the future we can just switch to um, the day factory um, wherever we are right now because we're having nighttime quite a bit too much there for my taste um here we are right now and just perfect how we can see that out here right so our goal right now is of course to make a big factory on the planet itself and then we might advance to other planets like this gas giant over there um where we can also get our own um resources from that we're going to need now back in our factory um we have now an automated magnetic coil and um gear production one more thing that we need here though is the circuits Right, so the circuits we can place here then right away. We do have a bit of space there still where I would like to um, place this one in. First of all, yep, let's get a bit of more fuel from the trees there and the plants. This is something that we also might automate at some point. That would be amazing. Um, and let's just place this factory, the assembling machine. I do need another one for that. Of course, the goal is also then to automate the assembly machine production and construction to make things even easier. But for now, we're going with that. And yeah, we still have the space here and we still have the output space from the storage to use there as well for the circuits. The circuits, by the way, they do require iron ingots and copper ingots. So we can use this belt here already as an output. And then we just need one more output from the storage. Let's have the third assembly now here. It is within the power grid, so we can use it then as well. There we have it. I think this will once again rock our energy consumption to new heights <laughs> and we're going to need um, more energy production then there's also a few plants let's just chop away every single living being on this planet for our own fuel and here let's have the conveyor belts now the first one is here already goes then right into that and the second one we're going to use from the other conveyor belt that we already have there it's been constructed now perfect here we're choosing now the circuits and now, once again, we do need the sorter. Now for the sorter, I still kind of haven't figured it out too much yet how these work um, when it comes to sorting stuff. This one will be fine because there's only um, iron ingots, uh, copper ingots here anyway, right? So as we can see, it's getting that right away. Here though, we have the problem that there will be... Oh, I can place the filter. Yes. Very good. So actually, this is how it's working. Before we place the sorter, we have to design the filter and we can do this with the tab key. So there we can now decide iron ingots should be coming out of this sorter. Right, there it is. And perfect, it's working. The iron ingots are coming out into this assembling machine, which is now getting it done. So one thing that it still needs is, well, a sorter input. And there we have those two. And thus we have also automated our circuits and we've also now automated all the basic advanced materials, if that makes any sense. Coming out, um, oh well, for now we actually have to collect them ourselves, like this. Otherwise it's going to be full rather quickly, but we can now have an additional storage facility. I don't think we need any other basic thing. I mean, we have the glass here, but the glass needs stone and stone I don't have automated at this point. So this might not be working for us, um, but the rest is automated, right? And whenever we need something, we just have to look at our basic storage now, where we basically have the copper, the iron and the, the wheels. And for the advanced, we will have our storage then here. And my goal is then to have the even further advanced processing over here somewhere, um, where we also have, I think, coal. This should be coal then, that we can use then later. There's a bit of stone. Let's collect this real quick. And while we collect a few things, let's build the next storage that we're going to need. We are also going to need a few more conveyor belts. So I can already see that we might actually automate the conveyor belts then. And... Yep, that is fine too. The cool thing here too is that we have the iron ingots coming out here and the copper ingots coming out here. So if we need them, we can just, you know, place another sorter out of it and process it even further. So this is something that makes sense in that area. And yep, let's have the storage facility for those guys, for those assemblers there. And let's try to place it as close as possible so that, we, so that it looks efficient, right? There we have it. And we just now need the belt one coming out from this one. The belt two coming out from this one. 
and the third belt. I think... Yeah, wait a second. What we might do is we might want to save a bit on the space here. So I'm going to use it here. Right, and this one is coming out from that factory over here. Right, so that we really just are in this area. And here we have the output then for future stuff. Um, how much energy? We don't have enough energy anymore, so we do need to chop down some stuff again. So I'm just going to chop down um, some trees here, some plants. There's also a bit of stone. Plus we're going to need this space here anyway for additional production. And we are now powered again. Very good. One thing that we still need here is then the soldier's input. Coming into the storage facility here. Right? And the output. Oh, we do lack once again the sorters. While the sorters are being built, let's have a look at our research tech there once again. So we have quite a lot of tech ahead of us. And the next thing, we might actually go for the matrix now. Right? The matrix is actually something that we do need for any, I think for any, yep, type of future. Um, tech that we have there, right? So the matrix is there and um, We might need to build it soon. It requires I think then yeah some uh, Copper wire and some circuits. So we have this these products already down here. We have the fuel storage That we might need for fuel production then high efficiency plasma control gives us the prism and The electromagnetic drive this one is a fundamental power system component and accelerates mechanical output. Where is the spacecraft? <laughs> I do would like to have my spacecraft someone. There it is, vertical launching silo. Look at that. There we have it then for the, the, the spacecraft. All right, but let's go for the electromagnetic matrix now so that we can start producing this one. Off it goes. Right, we also need, oh, that was quick. We have researched it electromagnetic matrix so we can now start with that which is our most important resource then for future researching and what I still want to do is I want to have another storage facility but it's a storage facility for raw metals that I collect myself right so it's something that I would like to have I guess here in the center somewhere for now we might have it just here because I'm not going to need that space for anything else Let's have it there and let's just place our copper ore and iron ore and silicon ore and basically all the ores and the stone as well that I don't need because my inventory is quite full at this point, right? In my inventory, I would like to have something like the ingots that I'm going to need for future stuff. So there we have that. Um, by the way, wait a second. The stone we might actually take with us again because with the stone, we can make the glass. Right, let's just produce a few of the, a bit of that glass. Now you can now build the matrix lab there it is. So the central brain connector used to produce matrices and research technologies. The more the matrix labs, the faster the production and research speed. So with that, we can do all of that. Um, it's this one. I guess it will require quite a lot of power as well. Um, we have now the outputs then here. So hopefully I do have now the sorters. Yep, I have them. Let's place the output. The output here and the output here. And as we can see, there's actually three in or outputs on either side. The same goes for the storage facility. I think it goes for everything except the mining facility, which only has one output. And yeah, since it's nighttime, let's just have a look at the planet again. I love that view on my factory from space. It's, it's looking beautiful, absolutely fantastic. Um, our small factory so far. And as we can see, yep, there is quite a lot of space and once again, I want to show you the planetary chart there. So we are circling this planet. It's just fantastic, really. Um, and our solar system, where we have two more others. There we have an ice planet that we might use them at some point. There we have a lava planet. So we need it for the, the rocks, uh, the, the molten rocks. Um, there we have the star. I don't know what we need in the star done. We need the drive engine too to get there, um, but we'll see. And of course, we have all these star systems around us as well. And there's a red giant, for example, right? And we have so many interesting stars there. There we have a black hole. I would so love to get to the black hole. <laughs> we'll see about that, what we can do there in, in this regard. Let's go back to our planet and to our, well, mining facility for now, once again. Another cool thing is I can actually fly over the water 
pretty cool stuff. Unfortunately, I cannot fly to space yet. Also, another uh, another day is dawning, as we can see, as the sun is rising. Uh, beautiful, really. And we have quite a lot of work ahead of us today. As we can see now, the advanced products are flowing into our storage. So, um, what we want to do next after this one is now the matrix lab that makes it possible for us to produce some of those advanced stuff. Now for the matrix, um, can we build the matrix ourselves? Yeah, we can actually, electromagnetic matrix. One of the five basic source codes that keep the central brain simulating um, is the foundation of all scientific and technological research. There are actually five of these types and we do need to have five of them produced at some point um, to get to the really advanced research stuff. This first one here requires the, the wire, the copper wire and the circuits that come out of this storage facility. So let's just place it here. I don't think we're going to need that much space then. Um, I might just build it. Let's leave some room there if we need some other output, right? Or actually we might place it down here. Oh, this is a difficult decision though. No, we still have some copper there that I might want to, to get at some point. So let's have the... Oh. Let's have it here. Right, the first one. Matrix yeah. lab. You can use it to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the home world. You can upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. Very good. There we have it. And there we got it. As we can see, we do have the other matrices here. Um, I would like to select the first one now. And we do need the wire and the circuit. So once again, we do need now two belts coming out of it. Um, and the first one is here. And the second one is here. And we do need the output, even though I might just collect it now, right now. So we're just going to set the output number one and we're going to select these circuits and output number two, we're going to select the wires and then we have the input into these factories there. Beautiful. And as we can see, we're making the matrix, the first ones that we have and that we're going to need for all the researching. Now let's just have a look at our tree there. So for all of these advanced research here, we do need these matrices, right? Quite a lot of them over time. There we need 400 already. There we then also need the energy matrix, so the red one. Um, for the basic research, we still have those three tags left open. Oh, I also need the matrices for those guys. All right, upgrade wise, what do we have here? For the universe exploration, we do need the matrix. Uh, mechanical frame, we do need electric motor that I don't have yet. Okay, basically I can't do anything else other than wait for those matrices. <laughs> but they're coming out now. Quite a lot of them too. We got the first 10. The first 10 we have. So we might actually start with the first basic research. I think it was the universe. Yep, universe exploration. Let's activate. And there we have it. Our first advanced research. And that we have it, universe exploration complete. You can now view the vein distribution on the planet and easily find the location of different veins. Sounds interesting. You have unlocked the universe exploration. Now you can click the details display button in the lower right corner of the screen to open real-time distribution details of the ore vein. There we have it. Oh, cool. We can now see where all these materials are. So iron vein, coal vein, oil. What else do we have on our planet here? Crude oil, stone, there is stone veins, so there I can actually make my stone um, automated. And I think this, these are all the resources we have on this planet, right? Coal, oil, copper, iron, stone. Um, can I see that of another planet, right, uh, as well? No. So we can still not see what this um, gas giant over here has, or ice giant. Let's make a second matrix lab that we need because this one here is not producing so quickly, right? We do need way more of that for more researching. So we have the universe cartography. Um, let's go for the next research. So the, I think this one here, high efficiency plasma control. No, wait a second. We do need the, um, the coal. So the coal we do get with the mining and then we might go for steel. There we have the sorter. Can sort more quickly? Can we have two? Now nah, we can still only choose one type of uh, good out of it then, right? Um, in that case, we do need to wait for even higher quality stuff. Pooh, in which direction should we actually go now? 
It's hard. Universe Cartography 2 allows the way of the whole planetary system. So with this we can see also the resources on other planets that we might need then. Mechanical frame, inventory. I think we focus on the next resource which would be the steel, right? Let's... Silicon ore or... No, wait a second, we do need the graphite. Let's go with the graphite. This is our next research. And as we can see we do need quite a lot of these um, electromagnetic matrices. So let's just build us another one. There we have it. Alrighty, the next matrix lab. Let's place it. Um, let's place it then right next here. Now, what we still don't have is a bridge over conveyor belts. So I can't, you know, for example, I have the output here. For the next um, matrix, um, I will need another belt just for the circuits then again. Otherwise, yeah, either way I need to do this. Or... Can we connect them with each other? This is interesting. Let's try this one out. It would be interesting to know if it works because it would make things a lot easier. Let's build it right next to it and have our sorter coming from here. Okay, this is not possible. Too close. Let's have a belt in between. What I want to see if is we have if we have too many of these circuits and wires here, if there is a sorter outputting it to the next facility, the next matrix facility right away. This would be really cool if that works. So unfortunately it doesn't work. Um, the output here is not going onto any conveyor belt, so we actually do need, well, quite a few of them if we want to have more of these matrix labs, right? So if I place the next matrix lab right here, I could also place it here, but I would then congest the area. So let's place the next one here. Well, hello there. And let's have the belts. This one here is fine because there we already have the, the wires. And then we have another one going out here. Right. And what we do need is the sorter. So this one is going over there. And this one is going over here, taking the circuits. And then we just need the inputs. And let's decide and or let's choose the next matrix. And as we can see, we have now two of these matrix labs working for us, right? Because we do need quite a lot of that, as we can see. Let's just build um, a storage there for the matrices. So we have an output here and the output here and then two inputs. And we don't need a filter on that, of course, since we do have only one type of resource that is being that is traveling on this. And as we can see, those pretty cool looking matrices should be now going into the storage facility. Or they're not. Oh, we do need energy on our Mac panel. As we can see, um, when we are low on energy, we travel much faster or slower too. So it takes a lot of time getting to that tree. Poo, and there we have some energy again. This is taking a long time though. So there might also be something for fuel soon, hopefully. And we should probably also look out to not run out of energy anymore for quite some time. Righto. Perfect stuff. Lots of locks. Let's put all of that into our mech. And yeah, the thing here is that the matrixes are not being delivered to um, the storage facility. Oh, oh, wait a second. We haven't built it yet. I only have one drone at the moment. Okay, it's working. Fine. I was already worrying there. So now we have the matrix is coming into the storage facility. The blue ones, right? And as we can see, we can still make this up to four, even five um, of these uh, factories here, matrix labs. For the red ones, we are going to need a whole other space then, right? So this is the blue one. And we still have a bit of space right next to the water. So here we can then do something with the water because I have a feeling we're going to need this. Down here we have the coal. So once we finish this research, we can then also start with our coal. Um, there we have it. And I think we can mine it already, right? Yes, we can mine it already, the coal. Um, I think it might be a good idea of doing it right away. 210k we have here. 240k we have here. This might be a good location for it. And there we have the next mining facility. Uh, we still need way more of these assemblers though, so I do need some copper wires, copper circuits. Let's just get this one over here, and I think we're lacking a bit of energy there now too. 
Let's get one of them. One stack. One stack of the circuits. And one stack of the gear. And I hope there is going to be an inventory upgrade soon. Because we are totally full when it comes to inventory. Um, and let's just craft a few of them. Right, ten of them because we're going to need it anyway. And a few of these turbines. Right, for additional energy production. There we have them. And it's getting nighttime once again on this beautiful planet that we are right now. I'm looking forward to the gas giants and the, the black hole. How is it looking there? Um, let's actually have the wind production down here too. As we can see, it just needs to connect, uh, be connected with the, the power grid in general. And I think for advanced power we need the water then. Because I've seen the water turbine somewhere. This might be interesting then. And yep. For the coal, we'll need that for the graphite. So we do need our own smelter for that. Yes, very good. More matrixes and we finish actually the next research. Anytime now. And there it is. Smelting purification. We can now purify um, or craft energetic graphite from coal and also the high purity silicon from the silicon ore. Now, I don't have I haven't seen any silicon on this planet though. We might need to go for another planet if we go want to go for silicon or no idea. We'll see. Let's also add some more fuel and wood there to our mech. That's pretty much it for now. And yeah, let's have a look at our upgrades because I would like to see some Inventory upgrade. There it is. Inventory. Gives me one line inventory capacity. Perfect. We do need some steel for that. So there it actually makes sense to produce steel. And I'm pretty sure for steel we are going to need the coal. Right. Have we unlocked steel yet? There it is. Yes, we have the steel smelting. Right. So steel needs... Oh no. It actually only needs iron ingots. That's fine. We have plenty of them. We should have plenty of them. And with that beautiful view, I say stay tuned.